in my opinion, if you want to look chic, expensive and put together, then you have to accessorize and particularly with watches. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily and I make mainly fashion videos, a little bit of beauty and some self-improvement. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top three tips for accessorizing with watches and jewelry, including an outfits lookbook. So I was recently lucky enough to be gifted a couple of new watches from The Fifth. If you haven't heard of The Fifth before, you must check out their Instagram. Their feed is an absolute dream. Their watches are so beautifully designed. Not only are they stunning, but they're actually quality watches as well. I can vouch for the quality because I've actually had another one of their watches for over a year now. Everything that you see in this video today reflects my own personal style. The Fifth have watches for both men and women that suit all different types of styles. They have loads of different colors, not just gold and pink. So I will leave a link in the description for you to go check out the Fifth's website. Quality made watches, these ones are so affordable. Okay, so let's begin with my three top tips and we're gonna follow it with an outfit lookbook. Tip number one is to up scale a basic outfit by wearing a quality watch. So in my opinion, if you want to look chic, expensive and put together, then you have to accessorize and particularly with watches. First watch I want to show you from the fifth is a perfect example of an accessory that brings value to any old basic outfit. This is the 007 watch and there are only a few of these left online. The three extra dials mean that this watch also has chronograph functions which in my eyes gives off a way more fancy and expensive look. As you can see here, I'm wearing a really basic outfit and all I've added is a watch and some gold accessories. I feel like this outfit has gone from unsure girl to a girl who's got her shit together. Personally, when I put on a watch like this, I feel more confident and more empowered and I just feel more put together. And this is exactly what my hashtag happy styling is all about. Wearing things that make you feel a certain way and styling that makes you feel happy. The second watch I got from the fifth is this rose gold beauty called Argyle. To me, this watch feels more like a dressy going out watch compared to the previous watch. I love that the face of the watch is really big. I think that that's a really cool look right now. But if you're not into that, they actually make this watch with a smaller face as well, which is nice to have as an option. So tip number two is to keep it simple. Personally, when I'm accessorizing for an everyday look, I just like to keep it simple with dainty gold jewelry. My go-to earrings are gold hoops or any small kind of gold hanging earrings. When I wanna wear statement earrings, my go-to is definitely black bar jewels they make really on-trend kind of statement pieces as well as basic everyday pieces but I particularly love their statement earrings as for necklaces I'm very much into layering gold necklaces at the moment I think this is really on trend I have this beautiful piece from seed that has a dog tag and a chain and it's pre-layered I just think a pre-layered necklace is a great way to go it's just so easy to throw on with anything you don't have to think about the layers of the necklaces you just chuck it on I think this is a Another really good way of just adding value to an ordinary outfit. If I'm not layering my necklaces, I usually like just a single gold pendant necklace, or something that kind of just sits in the middle of my neckline. Once again, that just adds a bit of value rather than a bare neckline. So my tip number three for accessorizing is to match your hardware. This is a rule that I personally like to live by, but it isn't the be all and end all. If I'm wearing gold earrings, then I like to wear a gold watch and a gold necklace. If I'm wearing silver earrings, then I like to wear a silver watch and a silver necklace. With that being said, I'm more of a gold girl anyway. I'm actually trying to filter out all my silver stuff at the moment and just have more of a gold accessory collection. Personally, I just think gold is a lot more current and on trend and I just like it more. There is a loophole in this rule for me. So I have this leather jacket that has a lot of silver hardware all over it. I don't mind wearing that with my gold jewelry. And then I have a bag that also has silver hardware on it and I don't mind wearing that. It really just depends. I think in my mind, it's basically just jewelry, watches and belts that I don't want clashing. But like I said, this is just my personal preference. So to finish off the video, I'm going to show you a bunch of my favorite outfits that have been styled using the fifth watches and some gold jewelry. If you did like this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on things because things like this baby are going to sell out very quickly and you don't want to miss when I have posted about a video. You can go follow me on Instagram for more outfit inspiration, but for now, just enjoy the rest of the video and happy styling.